I was taking the family out kayaking and uh, needed a rack so that I could carry five kayaks and so I made this one out of conduit and cost me about thirty dollars the, the main frame is three quarter inch conduit the bracing is half inch these rods are half inch and then I've just got it attached to the truck with some little bits of rope that go down to the cleats inside the truck. Alright, so I'm crimping the uprights and I've just got a mark on my vise over here on how deep I want to put it. I'm trying to get them all the same. And then I just close my vise the same amount each time. And you just have to do this by trial and error to see what you you know what, how much crimp you need to make it fit the side of your pipe. Now to do the other side, you just got to eyeball the top part and make sure that you've got it in alignment. I've got a good video on that. I've got a good video out there. It talks about. Um, making uh, gates with conduit and how to weld conduit and it, I go into great detail about how to make these joints if you're interested. Alright so I'm getting ready to join these uh, pipes together and we've got our crimp let's see we got our crimp right here and I've got a board this is the like a 2x10 that is, uh, let me put it over here where you can see it a little better. Okay, there. This is a 2x10 with a quarter cut off, and this is a 90 degree angle right here. Um, and that just allows this joint to get up in there for me to be able to weld in there. So this will hold it square for me. And I'm just going to get this line up. Now this is a different joint than what I did when I made uh, gates out of conduit. Um, this one's more in line. If you watch that video, you'll see what I'm talking about. So it's just two different styles for do two different purposes. All right, and now I'm just going to tack that in place. Now this is galvanized conduit, so be sure you've got some air that's going to blow this fumes away from you. The, when you uh, turn this... Uh, uh, galvanizing into a gas is actually toxic, so be sure you're not breathing it in. And then I'll just continue to do the same process until I get all four corners tacked, and then I'll come back and weld them solid. Just thought I'd take a, a couple minutes to show you this. I had trouble kind of finding something that was uh, light and cheap and easy on YouTube. So I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.